Welcome everyone, I have another installment of System Build. What I'm actually doing here is I'm picking a price point and then I'm building a PC around that price point based on the needs and that we're looking to uh, achieve in this build. What I actually was thinking about here, this is actually something I'm thinking about doing myself, in that with all the streaming content out there, when it comes to uh, you know movies, TV, I mean you have Netflix and then HBO Now, it just got introduced to where you're only going to really need is an internet browser and uh, it's exclusive for Apple for a little while but uh, you can use it over the internet so what better way to do that than actually build a PC that you can hook up to your TV and just stream content on for Netflix, Hulu, HBO Now, um, you got all kinds of YouTube, uh, all kinds of different uh, options you can go on that, on that route. And these, uh, uh, actually having a PC hooked up to your TV is a much better option than using the browsers within um, your TV or your Blu-ray player because those are generally slower. I have a few problems with the Netflix one on my Blu-ray player. So this will just be a better option and we'll be able to do some gaming on this. So you'll be able to eliminate your Xbox One or your PlayStation and you'll be able to get rid of all of those. And this will allow you to be able to upgrade in the future. Uh, this is a cheap build. I'm focusing on the $600 range, uh, which is actually, I've actually got a little under that, about between five and 600 range is what we're going to focus on now, which is a little more than the Xbox uh, and the PlayStation options, but again, you're going to be able to upgrade, you're going to do a lot more with this, and it's going to game a whole lot better than both of those. And like I said, you can upgrade in the future to where you can be able to game on 4K. Uh, you're going to have to have a pretty beastly system for that, but it does allow you to be able to do some upgrading in the future. So that being said, let's jump in and look at the components. The first thing I chose was the case. Uh, this is subjective. Uh, everyone has different different uh, options they want for their case. I went with actually the Corsair uh, Carbide 240. And this was a little bit more expensive case, but I really like It's going to be out in the open. You're going to be able to see it. So I wanted it to look somewhat presentable. And it is $70 on Newegg right now. Uh, this version actually looks extremely... Uh, extremely sharp uh, compared to the black version, at least online. I haven't seen it in person, uh, but I'm using a carbide, uh, an air. So we're going to have that case there for $70. One thing to keep in mind is that we can't get a much cheaper case than that. Um, there's some Cooler Master, there's some other Corsair cases, there's even some Fractal cases you can get for 30, 40, 50 bucks. But again, we're going to be able to see this. So pick something that you're going to be able to enjoy and I don't know, I like things to look a certain way. And this is a sharp looking case, it's got a nice window in it, see your components, um, especially down the road if you want to you know, put any lighting in there or upgrade anything to make it look a little bit more uh, pleasing. And so now I wanted to pick the motherboard and CPU, that's a good point to focus on, they kind of got to match and go together. Uh, we, stick, we stuck with the 1150 socket, the Intel 1150 socket, mainly because you can upgrade in the future. And for the motherboard with the Gigabyte GA-H, 81M-DS2V, and that's uh, running about $50 right now. One thing to keep in mind is uh, on Newegg, if you get an open box item, you can actually get it for $15, $20 cheaper. If you can find an open box or a refurbished unit, don't hesitate to go that route, especially on a motherboard that these things last forever. As long as they're not dead on arrival, they generally tend to last for a very, very long time, so that's going to run us $50. CPU, I what was the cheapest thing I could find uh, was the Intel Pentium G3220. And this is going to run us uh, about $57, both on Amazon, NCIX, and uh, Newegg here in the United States. We can upgrade in the future, so we can put an i7 in there, quad core. This is currently a dual core, which most games don't really use four cores uh, right now. Uh, in the future, we may need to upgrade, but again, Couple years down the road, you want to throw an i7 in there as long as it's the same socket, you're going to be able to do that no problem. And for the power supply, I like to get a little this power supply is a little beefier than what we need for this system. But a power supply, I've been using one for like five years now, they're usually something you keep around for a long time. So get something that you don't you're not going to have to take out and upgrade. What we have here is the Corsair 750 watt CX series, it is modular. And it is running us $45. New Egg has a 10% off coupon, our little code, it's, it's on the website, you can find it there. So that's going to run us $45 and it's going to last for a long time. Again, I think these things come with at least three year warranties. Corsair is a very, very good uh, uh, distributor of power supplies, so definitely, definitely uh, don't hesitate to buy any of their power supplies in my opinion. 
GPU, uh, I went with the Asus GTX 750 Ti, and this is running us $120 on Amazon. We do have to do a $20 mail-in rebate, which they don't bother me. Some people may gripe about that, but $120 for a 750 Ti is really the way to go. You can get uh, 280X, uh, an AMD 280X, or a GTX 960. I believe for around $200 or a little less actually if you if you really shop around. So if you want to upgrade that GPU, you could do that. Um, but I would stick with the 750 Ti right now. It's going to be able to do anything you want on, on 1080p, which is what most TVs are. 4K TVs are pretty expensive, so if we're building a cheap $600 system, we're probably not going to have a 4K TV. So keep that in mind and definitely jump on that. Uh, that's the cheapest one I could find. Uh, that was uh, dual fan. They had some single fan ones that were a little cheaper around the hundred dollar range, but I didn't want to go that route. We're going to be able to overclock this a little bit. Asus has great coolers, so that's what we went with there. And for RAM, I went with uh, one four gigabyte stick of uh, the Mushkin Enhanced Stealth. It's twenty nine dollars on Amazon. It's like thirty one. Uh, then there's two dollar off uh, code you can just put in. It's right on the website. Easy to find. Pick any any memory you want. Cheapest. Cheap you can find. Uh, this actually looks pretty good. It's black. Uh, I throw a picture up here, but it's all black, so it's going to look good in the system. It's going to match any motherboard or any combination you need just because of that black design. And I actually put an SSD in here. Generally, with cheap systems, I don't do SSDs, but now with how cheap 120 gigabyte SSD is, that's what I went with. So I went with the cheapest one that got decent reviews, and it's the Mushkin Enhance uh, 120 gigabyte for $50. Amazon, both Amazon and Newegg for this price point. Uh, again, these prices are actually currently, it is the 4th, April 4th. So these are where these prices are being pulled from. It's actually today. They are going to fluctuate from time to time. But 50 bucks, you can get that. I've seen uh, the Samsung 850 Evo for a little under that for $45. If you can get any 120 gigabyte SSD that gets decent reviews, pick it up. And it, it, trust me, it's a lot faster than a hard drive, especially for your boot system. You're not going to be able to put many games on this, but you can put your boot, uh, your OS on there, and you're going to be able to stream and fly right through it. And then for the hard drive to put the games on, or any movie content, or anything along that lines, we went with the Seagate Barracuda 1TB for $45. You can also get the Western Digital Blue for around that $45 range, and uh, I pulled that from Newegg, but you can get that from from uh, many other websites, Amazon, NCIX, US, uh, Micro Center, if you have Micro Center in your area, uh, you can pick those up there. Cooler, with Cooler Master Hyper 212, and that is $30. You can get it a little cheaper if you uh, shop around from time to time. I've seen it around the $20 range, $25 range. But this is probably the cheapest, best cooler that's been out in the past four or five years. Yes, that's a cat. So pick that up, $30, you're going to get a good cooler. For the uh, OS, I just went with Windows 7, Windows 8, I had a $90 budget. I have seen it a little cheaper, I've seen it down to 70, I've seen it down to 80. It doesn't really matter which one you get. Uh, I prefer Windows 7 just because I don't like the whole Windows 8 uh, not having the start menu, which I know you can add, but it's just easier. Pick whichever one you want. $90, you're going to be able to get either one, and Windows 10 is on the horizon, and it looks like that's going to be a free upgrade for most people. So get whatever you can, cheapest, and go, go that route. So that's going to put us at $586. Again, you could get a cheaper case uh, if you wanted to get a little beefier GPU. You could get a $25, $30 case instead of a $70 one and get a beefier GPU, or you could cut out the SSD altogether if you're not worried about load times or any type of speed, you could cut that out and then you could uh, maybe I'll even get a 970 if you really, well, you probably won't be able to go that route, but you could get a, you could a really, a really nice, uh, maybe if you can find a refurbished 780, I've seen those really cheap, grab one of those or something along that lines if you want just a beefier GPU and you're not worried about the fast boot time or fast load times, uh, but I would still try to get an SSD in there if it was me. So that's it guys, that's a $600 system. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, comments below, let me know uh, what systems you like in the, the near future. Uh, I just did a $1,300, $1,300 one before that. So I may do an all out uh, kind of a 4K one next and go to the two grand range, which is kind of expensive, but um, if you spend two grand on a system, 
Uh, I may go into the 2011 socket and get, get some of the newer uh, uh, six core GP or uh, CPUs. Thanks again, everyone. Uh, let me know what you think again, and I'll uh, you know go from there. Thanks. See you guys next time.